Welcome to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, and for the next four weeks, we are coming to you from the Lake Sunapee Region Chamber of Commerce, noting that for more than two centuries, visitors from all over the world have chosen our region as their ideal year-round vacation destination. Today, we'll hear about the 2023 Black Flag Golf Tournament. Kate Nebeli will tell us about what's going on and what you can see at the Library Arts Center in Newport. Casey Matthews, the speaker, will invite us to the return of the Women Who Make a Difference luncheon. And we'll close with a music dance video written by William Herrick. Don't go away because you won't want to miss this week's edition of Your Yankee Chronicle because it's spring and there's a lot to buzz for. The American Red Cross blood supply is at historically low levels this winter, and we're facing a dangerous situation. Hospitals and patients are counting on donors to get the blood they need. Make a life-saving appointment today. Visit redcrossblood.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS. This program is supported by H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Their full-service model offers oil delivery, propane, motor fuels with design, installation, service, and maintenance of all types of oil, gas, and alternative energy systems, as well as air conditioning, water conditioning systems, and backup generators. Their highly trained and friendly staff will assist you throughout the process of buying, installing, and servicing a full line of energy products. H.R. Clough and Kearsarge Heating. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel, coming to you this week from the Chamber. There's a lot going on here. We got a lot to talk about this week. I'm now joined by Brett Cusack, who's talking about the Black Fly Open Golf Tournament. Hi, Brett. How you doing, Abby? Good, how are you? Great, thank you. This is exciting. Fun that this is an event that's uh, back every single year. It's very popular. Fun to kind of kick off the golf season in spring with this event. Talk about the Black Fly Open this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Well, this is our first year back doing a shotgun start, so we're kind of uh, healed from the COVID process, yes. which is great. Um, and we have an unbelievable uh, turnout this year with our sponsorships and very excited for this year. Good. Talk about uh, how the Black Fly, um, you know, what it benefits, the, mm -hmm. the why every year is this a Sure. Well, this is our biggest fundraiser here at the Chamber um, and it, it takes care of a lot of the operating expenses and uh, it's also a great way for us to bring all of our, you know, community together. and. Yeah, I always think golf. it's a fun thing too because it gives somebody an opportunity maybe who hasn't played golf before to have fun and try it out, but also that it, it's a real niche for someone that likes to play golf and they're kind of two for one. A Absolutely. day golfing and you get to benefit the chamber. Yep. And we're really excited to be back at, you know, you know, Lake Sunapee Resort or Lake Sunapee yeah. uh, Country Club. It's uh, it's one of the best golf courses around here, so we're really thrilled about that. Uh, we have unbelievable sponsorships, you know, our, our top tier sponsors are my company North Cape Design. Um, Mount Sunapee Resort, Pella Windows and Doors, uh, Dolan Real Estate, and Bell Tate. So we're really thrilled that those fantastic. companies stepped up at such a high level. Yeah, that's fantastic. I mean, obviously this is very popular, so people watching this, if you're interested, maybe check in with the Chamber. But talk about why, for, for years uh, down the road, why is this a, a fun thing to come in, out and do? Talk about sure. the day. Uh, well, it's a great way, like you said, to get the year started. Yeah. You know, it is called the Black Fly. We do expect black flies out there. <laughs> bring your bug spray. Uh, bring your bug spray. <laughs> um, this year, we um, we have a tremendous amount of prizes, and it's all built into your, to the cost. So. Oh. Uh, a lot of tournaments, they like to um, charge a lot while you're out there, and we don't agree with that. We like the idea that your your entry fee covers every cost, and there's hole-in-one contests and opportunities to win vacations and lots of fun things out wow, there. Wow, yep. that's fantastic. Yeah, some of the holes have specific uh, contests, so I'm sure you don't want to give stuff away, but or is that part of what the committee does to create yep. these contests? Yeah, we have lots of contests. Um, once again, for our second year in a row, uh, Goodhue is going to be bringing a boat over, which is really cool. Whoa! Uh, last year, they brought a really uh, unbelievable boat for us to all see, and you can win the boat. Uh, it's a hole-in-one contest. No so. way. Has it, has it been happened? No, nope, not yet. This is the year. This is it. I can feel it. This is it. Yeah, that, that's a really good thing. Have your eye. That's truly your eye on the prize, that's right? It. Yeah. yeah, Goodhue does not want to bring the boat home with them. They want somebody to win it. <laughs> yeah, so. definitely. And don't hit the boat either yeah. with your golf ball. Um, talking about sponsorships, because we mentioned those top tier sponsors, there's a lot of opportunity to sponsor. For down the road, why should a business sponsor, as North Cape, why do you choose to sponsor? Sure. I mean, year? I love to support the local community as much as I can, obviously. 
Um, there's lots of exposure for local businesses uh, sponsoring an event like this. Uh, and there's a lot of different tiers of sponsorship. So it depends on you know your advertising and marketing budget. Sure. Um, there's always a tier for your company. So. Fantastic. Yeah, you'll accept anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, I think it's a fantastic event every single year. And like you said, it covers so much of the operating costs of the chamber, which the chamber is so important to our community. Uh, so what a great event to get out there. And uh, it, it is filling up very quickly. Sponsorships are sold out. But people should really stay in touch for next year and absolutely. be able to learn a lot about it. Absolutely. Brett Cusack of North Capeville Design. Very nice to see you and Absolutely. congratulations. Thank you, Abby. When we return, Kate Nevely from the Library Arts Center will give us a glimpse of a show currently hanging there. But first, these words from some of the good business underwriters that make Yankee Chronicle possible. We are strong, we are resilient, and we will get through this together. But these are stressful times, and it's important to also practice good self-care. It's normal to feel overwhelmed, anxious, or afraid, but there is hope. Reach out to someone, connect with your friends, stay in touch with your community, and know that you are not alone. Learn more at wearebroadcasters.com slash hope. Furnished by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. This program is supported by Main Street Bookends of Warner. For books, toys, games, cards, gifts, and a gallery of local art. Main Street Bookends of Warner. Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Abby Peel. The Library Arts Center in Newport always has so much going on. Let's now join Kate Nevely for an update. Thank you, Abby. Well, here at the Library Arts Center, we are always busy with community arts, and right now we have a great example of that. Here we have an exhibit featuring over 70 local artists. Every piece of artwork is black and white. So that unites a wide variety of artwork. Some of it's abstract, some of it's super realistic, some of it is just, it's all over the place. And the most special part of it, and the way it best represents the Library Arts Center creative community, is that we have artwork by professional artists, we have artwork by amateur artists, we have artwork by children. All of it is hanging together, equally represented and equally appreciated and celebrated in the gallery. So it's been a great show, lots of people have been through to see it, and we hope you get a chance to come see it as well. The show will be on display until the end of May, so there's plenty of time to come see it. Uh, we're open Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 4, Saturdays 10 to 2. There are several programs going on at all times at the Library Arts Center. One really fun one coming up is a drop-in in the gallery. We do drop-ins that are free every month and they are encouraging kids, adults, artists, everyone to come and make and take artwork. This month we'll be celebrating black and white and also celebrating our letterpress studio. So we'll actually have a working letterpress in the gallery. People can see how it works, learn about it, and also try their hand at a little letterpress while they're here and leave with a finished piece. So you can drop in, stay for a couple minutes, stay all day and enjoy that. That will be on May 20th, which is a Saturday from 10 to 2. So we hope people will stop by and enjoy that black and white activity. Another program we have, each month we do free art kits. We make 50 of them um, at least, sometimes we restock, and uh, we have a fresh set at the beginning of each month. They are designed to take home and do an art project at home that is uh, a project that is doable by children but also engaging for adults so people we have many adults that pick them up not for kids just for themselves to do and that's what we like for all for, for children for adults for families for anyone to do them the one in May is a Earth Day sort of themed even though Earth Day is in April but it's a spring themed we could say so the one in May is a spring themed um, kit where it will be making seed bombs, which is a guerrilla gardening technique, which is, so in each kit will be wildflower seeds and other beautiful seeds and clay and other organic materials that uh, with the instructions in the kit, people will put together and create so that then they can be tossed outdoors to create beauty around. Such an artistic thing to do in our community. We hope you stop by and pick one up.
There are a wide variety of classes going on in our studio. It's an a space that is continually in use just about every day of the week, there are things going on. We have programs for differently abled adults, which meet weekly. It's a wonderful, wonderful creative community for um, adults with different special needs and their caregivers to get together and make art in a wonderful, warm, welcoming environment that's so fun and friendly. We have a weekly artist drop-in on Wednesdays where artists get together and paint or draw, work on whatever projects they're working on. We have a monthly collage and mixed media group that just gets together and has a fabulous time. Each of these groups are times where people work on their own projects but do it in a collective and uh, inclusive, welcoming, encouraging environment. We have different art classes, there's a watercolor class going on, um, and then at this time we're gearing up for summer. Summer is a very vibrant time at the Library Arts Center where we have weekly classes for children. We will have free drop-ins weekly outdoors under our event tent on the back lawn for families. We will have music with friends, which is a great opportunity for uh, babies and toddlers to sing and dance and make friends all at the same time. We have yoga classes. There's just there's so many classes. We have basket classes. Um, just a wide, wide variety, something for everyone. We pride ourselves on having classes that are for advanced artists, as well as classes for people who are picking up a paintbrush or starting a craft for the very first time. We encourage everyone to check out our website, libraryartscenter.org, and see if there's a fit for you. We'd love to have you here at the Library Arts Center. Thanks, Kate. So much to do should be their motto. Check out their website for the latest on what's happening. When we return, we'll hear from this year's Women Who Make a Difference luncheon speaker. Let's now take a break for a few words from another business that underwrites your Yankee Chronicle. These local businesses can only continue if you buy and support those that support us. When you take your car in for an oil change, a good mechanic will also take care of other routine maintenance to make sure your car runs safely and efficiently. Protecting your health isn't much different. When you get a COVID-19 vaccine, it's important to make sure you're also protected from other serious but preventable diseases. It's easy and convenient to get other routine vaccines at the same time as a COVID-19 vaccine. So make sure you ask a healthcare professional about other vaccines you may need to maintain your health. This program is supported by The Intertown Record, your weekly hometown community newspaper covering the Kearsarge, Sunapee, Sunshine region of New Hampshire. The Intertown Record. Welcome back. I'm Abby Peel. After a three-year absence, the Women Who Make a Difference Luncheon returns. Let's hear from this year's featured speaker, Casey Matthews. Hey, I am an author, a speaker, as you can tell, and a transformational life coach, also a book writing coach. Um, really, the coming together to speak after three years of not having this event, it's really all about connection and finding joy again. And how do we come out of a time of adversity and honoring that and also uh, looking for all the joy in life and what are the practical things that we can do and what are also the profound ways that we can introduce more of that into our lives. I think it's been a time of great reevaluation for everybody and how much we miss connection and how much we value it. It's also a time when we're speaking about connection and joy, this idea of caring for ourselves first, and there's an inherentness in women to always think we have to put everybody else first. And part of the message that I'll be speaking about in terms of finding your joy is giving yourself permission to take care of yourself first in ways where nurturing self so that you are able to give to others. And then in turn, as this one individual caring for you, showing up with being the best version of yourself, the energy from you goes out to others and you become the ripples. 
And that's where we as a community can come together and by taking care of ourselves, nurturing ourselves, connecting with others, doing the same, giving other women permission to take care of themselves, we can really be women who do make a difference. So we're so excited because we have not had this luncheon for three years. I, I can't even believe it's been three years. We tried to come back last year. We were we pulled the trigger, we were planning, and then it just, as a healthcare organization especially, it just didn't feel right to have 200 people in a room for two hours. There were some outbreaks or some spikes, and we at the kind of the last minute decided not to do it last year either. So we're back. You know, nominations, we, we sort of publicly put it out there for people. Anyone can nominate someone. There is a nomination form, but that's just really to give people a sense of what kind of things we're looking for about each person. The real premise of it is women who do extraordinary service for their community, largely as volunteers in the community. Um, and so we always tell people, if you know someone who goes above and beyond with community service and giving back to the community, Give us as much detail as you can about the person and why you think they should be a recipient of this award. Then we get nominations and the committee sifts through them. And over the years, we kind of look at things like not only what they've done, but we try to get different towns represented. We don't want all the winners from the same town. We try to get different types of people represented. So there's there's some criteria around it. It's not real scientific, but it's really the, the committee that's been together a long time who goes through the, the, the nominations and selects. And the funnest part is we try to make it a surprise and we've been pretty successful doing that. So we once we pick the person, we sort of share the 411 with just whoever needs to know. And, and it's always kind of fun if the person isn't already coming to the event, how we're gonna get them there. That's always kind of fun. So it's, we try to make it a surprise. We've been pretty successful with that. And then about maybe 12 years ago, we decided, you know, we should honor younger women who are the, are the future of, you know, women's leadership in our country. And we, long story short, we added a high school award so we reach out to the local principals of the five local high schools and we say, do you have a, a woman who's either a junior or a senior in high school who does extraordinary service for your school or wider community? And same process. We get those nominations from the guidance counselors and the principals and we sift through them and, and we select the winner. That's a, <laughs> that one's a little tricky or getting, making a surprise. Um, to get the girl there, but we've we've been creative in trying to do that, and we've, done, we've got a pretty good job of, of the of the student not really knowing what's going on. So first, we'll start with the date. It's Wednesday, May 10th. It is at Colby Sawyer College's Ware Campus Center in Wheeler Hall. It is fifty dollars a person. It's been forty for many years, and we we did increase it to fifty. I will say it's very popular. I don't know sitting in this moment when it's going to fill up, if it's going to fill up but I would go on the premise it is going to fill up. Basically, the funds support um, all the programs um, of Lake Sunapee Region VNA and Hospice because we're a nonprofit. So it's just extra funds to offset costs we incur, services that aren't reimbursed adequately, free services that we provide as a nonprofit. So all the proceeds go back to Lake Sunapee Region VNA. We have care from birth to end of life, as we always say. The, the theme this year is reconnect and feel the joy. And we chose that theme because people want to reconnect and they've missed it and they've missed coming to this event because it's a very happy event. The best way I can describe it. There's music, there's raffles, there's door prizes, there's the awards, there's, it's just a happy, joyful event. <laughs>
So our guest speaker, with the topic in mind for women to, you know, reconnect and find the joy. We don't. We didn't want to dwell on the COVID years, but they're real for people. So you know, we, we want to sort of say, where do we? How do we move forward and find the joy based on what we've all been through for the last three years? And so Casey Matthews is a is a life coach, a transformational life coach. She is a mother of two. She's a New Hampshire resident, and she's an author of several books. And her mission in life is for women to find the joy in their lives, to, to, to live the best life possible. And when we become aware of these, these things that are actually beliefs that live within us, that we're not even aware of until we are. And then once we are, we can't unsee them. But, you know, as children, we have events and we move through life. And these events anchor into our nervous system. They become beliefs, limiting beliefs, often blocks that keep us from becoming the person that we are really intended potentially to be. And when we see these beliefs, these blocks, like it's selfish to take care of myself, you know, I, I have to take care of everybody else first, that at some point got imprinted on our nervous system, became a part of who we are, so that it becomes a belief. And when we realize, wait a second, that's a limiting belief, I don't necessarily have to live my life this way, that opens up this entire realm of possibility where we can think, now wait a second, there may be a new way of moving forward. And it may necessarily not be selfish to take care of myself first because then I have so much more to give to others. So I'm so excited to see everybody. I hope if you are available on May 10th, you'll show up. Um, it'll be a joyous time. That's, that's really what it's about, connection, coming together and sparking joy that we can all use these days. So I hope to see you there. Thank you, Casey. I can't wait to hear her message and see who this year's winners are. You can still get tickets by calling Kathy Raymond at the VNA at 603-526-4077, extension 231. When we return, we'll see a beautiful dance routine by Laura Kiefer and Gary Stanhope with music locally written by composer William Herrick. Please stay with us as we hear from another YCN underwriter who provides the lifeblood of our show. We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, uh, remind me about that party again. And adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. This program is supported by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer and mailer located in New London, New Hampshire since 1997, with roots going back much further as the country press, AccuMail, and the home of the Kearsarge shopper. Echo Communications. Welcome back to Yankee Chronicle. I'm Abby Peel. We have so much artwork in our area as we have been sampling recently in the Center for the Arts micro galleries. A little twist is the following video of a dance performed by Laura Kiefer and Gary Stanhope and written by William Herrick. Let's now take a look. the doors on us that night and I 
remember who you as had I seen before so many diamonds being cast on the floor I remember my answer whispered soft in your ear as we slow dance beneath that glass chandelier I said all I can see right here tonight is one single diamond shining so bright so lost in your beauty and your perfume so fine that I never did notice your lack of time and when it all ended I asked for your hand honey you just as pretty as you were back then happy anniversary darling I love you more than before when you were the only diamond on Honey, you're still the only diamond on the floor. Wow, nicely done to all the artists that made this video possible. Next week, we'll be right back here at the Lake Centipede Region Chamber of Commerce, highlighting our area that offers a relaxed lifestyle and boasts a wide variety of activities for all ages. Keith Coughlin from the New London Barn Playhouse will give us a rundown of this year's summer shows. And we'll close with a visit to Country Cobwebs in Warner. Don't miss our Game of the Week second season with a replay of the Raymond at Newport football game from last fall. All our games replay at 12 noon and 7 p.m. on Sundays and Mondays, and all of our programs are available on demand anytime at YCNnow.com. I'm Abby Peel. Join me again next week right here at the Lake Centipede Region Chamber of Commerce, where they feel that we owe it to future generations to care for this special place. Please join us at this same time for another Yankee Chronicle.